Hey YouTube, this is my second attempt at this review. And my little girl needs me just now. This is another Soto Street Fighter review. I've got a few more of these figures that I'm going to review. I've got this guy, uh, Evil Ryu, um, B -B -B E Honda, the electric see through variant of Blanca. And I think that is it for now. Oh, and I've got um, a different version of Ken, but he is exactly the same, just with white clothes. So I'm not going to bother reviewing that because you've seen it all already. But today I'm doing this guy, Nakuma. Um, really nice figure. He's one of the figures I wasn't sure if I was going to get or not because he wasn't part of the the yeah, original Street Fighter 2 Turbo that I had when I was young. Um, I really only originally wanted to get the Street Fighter 2 Turbo or the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo figures. But I've started getting a few more. I've got this guy, I've got Adon on the way as well. Um, I suppose, just like with all my collections, you need to get addicted and want them all. Um, it comes with, um, well, the accessories you're supposed to come with is two heads. So you've got this head, and I'll show you the head in a minute. A mean head. It's nice detail. It's got even really nice detail on the ears. They're nice. It's got his red eyes. His hair's got a bit of grey in it. So that's nice, nice detail. And two sets of hands. It's supposed to come with his fist and his hands. Now, I got this guy second hand off eBay, and he only came with the one hand and two fists. But I only paid, I paid £8 for him and the white Ken, so it's, I don't, can't complain with that really. Um, yeah, and the guy that had these figures I think actually played with them, whereas I kind of get them in a pose and display them, I th these figures look like they've actually been played with because they've got paint scratches and the joints are really loose. But anyway, like I say, for the money I can't complain. This is a really nice figure. Um, it's got this nice symbol on the back here. Um, I did actually look up what this was for, but I can't remember now. Um, the other accessory it comes with is this sort of energy, fiery ball thing. Um, I can't figure out how to get it to just go on properly. I don't know if it's supposed to attach to the other hand on here. Um, on the other side obviously and that also I haven't got that so that's why it's not fitting properly but this is the best I can get it to pose it came with blue tack and it was all blue tack together on the hand and all that kind of ruins the look of it but it pops off really easily and doesn't go on really easily so I assume it well, mind you um, so I'm assuming that's not how it's supposed to go on if anybody knows how it's supposed to go on then please send me a little message and let me know anyway on to the figure himself there's his other head there, his more angry head, and it's good again, you can see the nice detailing of the teeth uh, you know, the different skin colours on the uh, lips and the gums it's got this bead necklace which is removable nice bead necklace um, and then we've got his gi, I looked up what these are called, it's a gi apparently um, again a nice soft a nice soft rubber, doesn't affect the articulation uh, and it's here. Yeah. Say that again. <laughs> His articulation goes in and out there. That's the maximum. This goes out on this one. Uh, oh no, it doesn't. It's just me being silly. It goes all the way up to there. And you've got 360 uh, bicep, single elbow joint, and then twist your wrist and floppy. His head's got quite a good range of movement to it. Up, down, all around, side to side. Your chest. I mean that's really really loose for these figures so I'm assuming it's been played with a lot and then waist and then 360 on the leg double knee joint um, ankle and then the foot and the toes so yeah there's the articulation the detail is really nice though he's got this nice weathered effect on all his clothes um, the rope on here is a nice soft rubber again so that's movable oh, look, I just broke it There'll be some uh, super glue on that in a minute. Um, and even down to his sandals. So you've got the, the rope running down there. And that doesn't affect there. And then it goes on to the bottom. And it's just really nice detail on them. You know, they look like real things. They're not just like toys. I mean, they are. But the detail they put into these guys is really nice. So it all comes out very nicely. Um, let's give you a few size comparisons. Give me a second, I didn't have these prepared earlier. <coughs> um, that's 
That's one of the figures taking a tumble. Okay, so here he is next to Ryu. Stand him up straight so you get a better idea. There he is next to Ryu. So he's a little bit bigger, same sort of body type, but bigger. And then let's put him next to Bison. And you can see him, Bison is bigger. Um, so yeah, give you a nice idea of the size there. <clears throat> I think he's a really nice figure. Um, if you've been thinking about getting him, but not been too sure whether you should or not, then I would say, yes, do, go get him. I recommend him. He's a nice figure. Displays nicely with the rest of them, obviously. Um, so yeah, there we go. So Street Fighter Akuma. And I'm going to go and do another review for you now. Thank you very much, Anger Boy.